Okay, first up from Barnes & Noble, basket case because I didn't own it. I got the Something Weird DVD. Then from BestBuy.com, because I had ten free dollars, picked up Suicide Squad on Blu-ray, and I went shopping for a few other cheap things that I've been looking for. Uh, roller coaster on DVD. I know there is, um, I believe, a Blu-ray, but wasn't necessary. Another something weird video. And another Roger Corman called Classics Double Feature. Pick this up today from Barnes & Noble. Okay, I recently went to the Salvation Army, got some 25 cent VHS. This one I bought simply because of the cover art. It's obviously a religious uh, video, but look at that. <laughs> Looks really uh, interesting. And um, the content sounds hysterical, so. 25 cents. Also got that. Then from an Ollie's picked up this tin, 20 cult classics, and those would be these here. And I already have nine of these, but uh, this was worth it for the 11 that I didn't have. I love the tin. Also got this four film Jack Lemon collection. You can see the films in there. Uh, from Amazon, finally got a copy, my own copy of Terror Train. And from Diabolic, a wonderful uh, Trailer Trauma 3, 80s horror thon. Seven and a half hours. Two Blu-rays. You can see the list of trailers behind the discs. Um, awesome stuff. Took advantage of an FYE sale. Got these really cheap. And then, as a Valentine's present, Ever release of a mutilator. Got this today from Amazon from Wild East. This is a trailer compilation. 36 trailers, and what I found is really cool about this release is the booklet gives you details about each film that you see a trailer for. So I thought that was pretty cool. Picked up a couple things at Barnes & Noble. In my pursuit of completing this collection, I got Big Bad Mama 1 and 2, and Crazy Mama and the Lady in Red. Picked up a few things today at Barnes & Noble. Got a couple of TV films from Scream Factory. Used to see this back in the uh, back in the day for rent on VHS all the time. Never rented it. 
And finally, Evils of the Night from Gorgon. Got a massive haul today at Goodwill. Actually, two different Goodwills. Uh, they were both selling VHS tapes. Five for 99 cents. That's right. So I uh, loaded up. I uh, got a lot of tapes I would normally bypass. Just things to uh, flesh out the collection. Family films and common films and all sorts of things that, um, like I said, I would normally pass up. Stuff like this. Here's some more. I found four, four more films to add to my Thin Man collection. And um, they also, of course, had cheap DVDs, so I got some of those. That's a great cover. So, yeah. Bought about 80-some 80, 80 films today. And uh, didn't cost a lot of money. So, there you go. Picked up a couple things at Barnes & Noble. I hit up a few more Goodwills for, with their... Um, Five for ninety-nine cent VHS sale. That's right, five for ninety-nine cents. Got another eighty-five or so movies. Some things that uh, normally wouldn't have picked up otherwise. Just some things to fill out the collection. Uh, I like my collection to be pretty comprehensive. Some DVDs there. Some more over here. And I also got some DVDs from Goodwill. This was a pretty cool find. Didn't expect to see this at a Goodwill, but hey, you never know what you'll find. This is a Sergio Corbucci film under a different title. Um, I think it's also known as uh, shoot first, ask questions later, or something like that. And that's it.